Georgia is the home of the Caucasus Mountains and borders the Black Sea. 75% of the country is mountainous. 40% of Georgia is forested. The forests are known for their biodiversity, which include more than 13,000 species of flora, out of which 380 are endemic to the Caucasus. Georgia is one of the world's richest terrestrial ecosystems, part of the Global 200 Ecoregions Network. Georgia includes a wide range of agroecological zones, ranging from semi-desert to subtropical and alpine. There are 14 strict nature reserves, 8 national parks, 12 managed nature reserves, 14 natural monuments and 2 protected landscapes. These are ideal conditions for the production of honey. Acacia, blossom, linden, chestnut, alpine, and the wild honey jara. Beekeeping in Georgia has a long history. Archaeological evidence dates honey to 7,000 years ago, exceeding honey remnants found in Tutankhamun's tomb, dated at approximately 3,500 years. Xenophon, writing in the 4th century BC, tells of the defeat of the Greeks invading the Black Sea coast, using poisoned honey. The healing qualities of Georgian honey is mentioned in texts dating back to the 13th century AD. Georgia is the homeland of the Caucasian grey bee, famous for its long tongue, high resistance, docility, and outstanding ability to obtain nectar. There are few places in the world where wild bees are used by local people to produce honey, and Georgia is one of them. It is called jara. Swarms are collected in hollowed wooden logs, which are placed in remote locations and in trees high up to protect them from bears. This type of beekeeping is very rare, and found in remote villages and dwellings in the forests of the subtropical and alpine zones of western Georgia. In the Jara hive, the bees are bigger. There is no artificial wax. All the wax is produced by the bees. Jara honey is 100% pure and wild. A distillation of the rugged beauty of Georgia.